I went to a small school and where I'm from, like nobody really went and played college sports. You know, like I figured, you know, maybe I could go play somewhere small. I just never considered myself top caliber. But Morgan Cooper was top caliber. During the fall of his senior year at Gerald High School, 40 miles north of Austin, he signed with the Longhorns. A three-sport athlete, he was the model of health and consistency. One day I was just throwing and it didn't pop or anything, but it just kind of hurt. And that's when the elbow stuff kind of started. It was concerning um, because I had never been hurt. You know, I had never missed time. And I played football, basketball, baseball. I never missed time for anything. Cooper enrolled in Texas in the summer of 2013 at the suggestion of Texas associate athletic trainer, Michael West. The thought was, let's get him in, let's get him checked out, let's see what we're dealing with, give him a head start on rehab and strengthening and just uh, give him the best chance to, to get through the season and hopefully it not be anything serious. Coming in as a freshman and already having problems, like that's not really what you want to do. <laughs> um, and so I was always worried, like, you know, I'm not going to be able to prove myself or prove that I'm capable of playing here if I'm hurt. Cooper proved more than capable during his freshman year. He went four and two with a 2.89 ERA including a stellar performance in the College World Series against Vanderbilt. But the elbow pain was always in the back of his mind. There were a lot of times in the bullpen, I'm getting warmed up and I'm like, oh my gosh, my elbow is killing me. And I'll get in the game and it's like adrenaline takes over and it feels fine and I'm good. You know, I might be a little sore or whatever, but you know, throughout the majority of my freshman year, it's always back there, but it never bothered me enough to keep me from playing. After his freshman season, Cooper played summer ball with the Santa Barbara Foresters. In his final game, something didn't feel right. Before the game, I was getting warmed up and I was like, you know, it kind of hurts more than usual. I pitched seven innings and I did good, but the next day, I was actually with uh, Brett Boswell, he's my roommate. I remember telling him that next day, I was like, man, my arm, like, it's not good. It felt like there was a bag of rocks in my elbow. Like, I woke up and I straightened it and it would just pop, pop, pop. It just started popping and I was like, man, this, this, it's never been this bad before. Cooper returned to Austin and tried to rehab his elbow, but finally underwent Tommy John surgery in November of 2014. One thing that I kind of worried about, you know, was not knowing for sure whether or not I was gonna come back. A lot of people do come back from it, but there's also always that chance that some little thing's gonna go wrong and you know it's not gonna happen for you. The worst part is by far the, the you know four to six weeks right after because you're locked up in a brace and you literally cannot do anything with your whole arm. I remember the two days after surgery, I don't think I slept for an hour just because I just couldn't. I don't know, like my whole arm was numb and like I just couldn't move it and it was awful. When I got out of the brace, I wanted to like have a ceremony and burn it and set it on fire. At the five month mark, they start their throwing progression and that's where the length comes into play. You have another seven months of a throwing progression and it's very detailed, it's very monotonous. The first week you're at 45 feet, 10 throws. I mean, it's like throwing darts. You're just lobbing it and lobbing it and you just move back 15 feet every week, 15 feet, 15 feet. You know, you want to see progress really fast, and with this surgery, it does not happen at all. You gotta be patient, and I'm, you know, most people aren't that patient, and I'm one of those people. I'm just, you know, I wanted to, as soon as I got that thing off, I wanted to just go do whatever. I wanted to be back before my body did. So, you know, I'd be throwing bullpens or whatever, and it would kind of tighten up a little bit, and I would think to myself, well, I'm just gonna throw through it, because I gotta get better. Sometimes you got to be able to step back a little bit and realize that your body's telling you to slow down. On Sunday of the opening series, Cooper returned to the mound for his first appearance at the dish since June 2014. Against UNLV uh, that Sunday game, I knew I was scheduled to throw two innings and I remember being in the bullpen throwing and like trying to like control myself. Um, it wasn't bad in the bullpen, but when I got on the mound and they said my name and people were clapping and stuff, it was like, like it gave me the chills. It may have looked like I was under control out there, but I wasn't. I was, 
I thought about all the all the crap I had been through, everything with the rehab and the setbacks, and coming out here and throwing to a screen by myself when people weren't here during the summer. All that stuff just flashed in my head. And after that first inning and coming off into the dugout, um, that was one of the coolest moments ever.